that's how it should be. The other way is you could do it that way too that I showed earlier, but again, try to keep your indefs. Okay. So you would create spaghetti code is what we're talking about. Instead, what I would do here is call something that you made a sub. And you can have your code down here. Now you can see that would be so much nicer to call these subs. And you have a sub instead of a go to section that you could call in case you use somewhere else in the form. Maybe you have some code that's going off another button. Then you just call sub. It's a lot better. Okay, quickly we're going to go over the enumerator. And just actually leave this up. have our option explicit. Now this is what we're calling outside the form, or excuse me, we're declaring outside the form. Okay, so first you do try to remember. Let's call this um, That's how you do it. Now this is what we call like a structure. Um, what this is, this numerator thing, <coughs> is kind of like the boolean. We have false would be zero, true equals one. But in this case, you have a whole bunch of different ones. You could have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so forth, or negative numbers negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, going up. But what you want to do is keep them in the order. And you want them to always be whole numbers and one to the next. So for instance, uh, negative 1 equals something. Excuse me. I forgot to put. Try to remember what it was. You go the name first. Try to remember here. Okay, I remember now it's um first you use the variable name, then you go to what it equals. So let's say we'll just say first equals one. And then we'll have the second name equals two. So let's make this a little easier because for people to understand. We'll say um let's use let's just use players like in a video game. So we have the human player, and then we have the computer, and that's how you would set them up. Then you have to assign this. So let's say I usually um, private scope UDE user defined enumerator, and then the name that I want to use players as and then we assign to the players from above. This is almost the same thing as a data type, except we're just using um, numbers to reference to what we want to talk about. Um, so down here, this is how we would use it. If UDE players dot human Oh no, it goes like this. I couldn't remember. Equals one, then that would be human player, or equals two, which is computer. We could just put human player. Then go to diff. Again, sorry, I had to remember that. Um, we're not even. We really don't have anything that it's sequel to yet, so we're going to go ahead and announce that. Ude players player that yeah it should be players there we'll just leave it for that for now so it's equal to one we're saying it's the human player or if we said two it would be the computer or we could type it out I believe and it'll work too let's just 
go ahead and use one. So if it equals the human player message box human player, and that is misspelled. There we go. Go ahead and run this. Yep, the human player. Now you may ask, when will we start using this? Um, I hardly ever use it, but we would be using it for when we create our own controls. So for now, kind of just have this in your memory, practice with it a little bit. You might use it in some other programs. But for now, that's what it is. Um, again, you're just storing variables with just a number. We can reference real quick. Okay, that'll do it for now.